Did you guys know that a person's entire life can fit into a tiny ass box? I did it until now. Trying to sit on something. <gasps> oh my God, I'm gonna die. My life is about to change. I'm moving across the country in approximately seven days. It could be the worst mistake of my life for a lot of reasons that I might go into, but this is my very last day of packing and almost all of my stuff is in here. So let me just take you back like 10 hours before my day of packing began. Hi guys. <laughs> I haven't spoken today. Oh my God. It is currently 11 in the morning. This is my breakfast. Very out of character for me. I am not the type of person to do this, but I'm kind of losing my mind. <laughs> I can't sit up because I feel like I'm dying. In case you didn't know, I'm moving in like seven days. Oh my God, it's crazy. I'm also fighting off a cold. My house is in shambles. If I choke on me, you won't be able to call 911. It could just go right down my throat. YOLO. I need coffee. Mm -mm. Yes, I do. No. Can we go? No. Please, can we no. go? No. Why? No. That song. Teach me how to do it. Teach me, teach me how Damn. to do it. Damn. Anyway, can we go, please? This road is too loud. I got an oat milk latte and a perfect. I usually wouldn't get an oat milk latte on a hot day. I mean a hot oat milk latte on a hot day. But I don't like iced coffee. I realize that. I just don't like it. Like I drink like two sips of it and I'm over it. Kind of pissed because I know they switched their oat milk. And I asked them the other day, I was like, oh, are you still using the, the new oat milk or are you using the old one or whatever? They're like, we're using the same one. Mm -hmm. I know you're lying. This is a different oat milk. Kind of pissed about that. It's fine, whatever. But this parfait awesome. is so deep. I have to like dig to get to the bottom. Kind of an expedition. Good angle on him. Do you wanna know what's been stuck in my head for the past like five hours? Oh, Look at him in dumbass new hand sanitizer. Show them how it works. It's a spray. Look how much he's used already. Show me. I don't wanna show you. I used half the bottle. And since it smells so good to him, he's been spraying it like all over the house on my hands for no damn reason. It's really annoying. It's like spray hand sanitizers are dumb. We're in Walgreens. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have double excess. Amen. They don't. That's not funny. They don't have double excess. All right, all right. Stop doing that angle. It's not funny. <laughs> it was big enough for your fat ass toenail? Yeah, but I need a thick pair of jabronis, you know? <laughs> Hello. This is our lovely storage unit. Welcome to our house. Just kidding, it's not our house. We don't live here, but our stuff lives here. As you can see, we have a trash can. We have a drum set. Some sentimental things for me. Some suitcases. And that's it. I'm back in my house, Emin left, so I'm all alone. Hey guys, it's me. Just wanna let you know, I know there's an enormous bruise on my arm. No, I was not injured. Nobody punched me. I just got an implant in my arm. Uh, it's for birth control, okay? It's hard to explain, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to clear up the rumors. It's nothing bad. <laughs> my house is in shambles. I mentioned that earlier, but I really wanted to give you like a house tour. House tour! This room is by far the worst. Look at this shit. Oh my God, so sad, okay? This is the warm welcome to my house. My kitchen is so depressing. I used to have a beautiful table and beautiful curtains and a beautiful plant. I had to sell all of my plants. Top five saddest things to ever happen to me. Emin's office is just, I mean, honestly, this room looks the best out of all of them, but my bedroom, I want to show you guys what my room used to look like because this is just a travesty. And then last but not least, this room literally looks like a prison cell. So yeah, safe to say my house is not doing so well. However, I wanted to show you guys my prized possession. You know how people say like, oh, if your house were to burn down, you could only grab like two things, what would you grab? These are the two things I would grab. These are called my special things boxes. I'm a very sentimental person. <laughs> this is box number one. This is a picture of me and my mom. This is a dress. Yes, I'm very serious about saving things. This is the dress that I wore on my 17th birthday party. This dress is an accurate representation of what kind of person I was. I think it's a pretty cute dress, but like I would never wear that nowadays because it's just like, I was crazy, okay? 
This is a big bag of my favorite boarding passes. I wish I would have saved more. So it's not like every boarding pass I've ever owned, but we got like Nashville to Chicago, Atlanta to Nashville. Oh, this one's cool. Rio de Janeiro. I've never been able to say this. Rio de Janeiro. Jan Chicago to Shanghai, that one's pretty cool. Santiago, Chile. Oh, this one's really old. This one's Sao Paulo to Rio in Brazil. Tokyo to Atlanta. I never went to Tokyo. I guess I like flew into it for a layover. Brussels to New York City. This is Hong Kong to Manila in the Philippines. That's crazy. These are my old journals. Oh Lord. Why do I try to be a freaking poet? Listen to this journal entry. I saw yesterday for the first time in 13 days. I walked into church with my freshly dyed ombre green hair and my stomach dropped and my anxiety came rushing to my shaky hands as I saw him. I'm looking back on it and he seemed hurt. <laughs> I don't think he was hurt, Danny. I feel so stupid watching One Tree Hill, listening to the same songs, picturing everything, waiting, hoping, wishing for a text. I guess I just think that maybe if I keep him alive in my mind, if I don't let our memories go to dust, I'll be able to get it back one day. Why did I think I was a poet? Oh my God, okay, that's enough of that. So I realize I haven't fully explained like why I want to move to LA. So let me just take you back like 11 years and then I'll bring you up to this point so you can understand like why I'm making this choice. As you may or may not know, I was in a band called Cimarelli for most of my life. But before then, I was born in Northern California. I was not born in Tennessee. I'm not a Southern girl, I swear. No offense to Southern girls. When I was 10, my sister started a band and they wanted to move to LA to pursue music, so we all moved together. Me and my whole big ass family, I have 10 siblings, okay? So I moved to LA, but I didn't really move to LA. I moved like an hour outside of the city. I didn't fully experience it. I didn't have a lot of friends. I pretty much only had time to like do band stuff and like we went into the city a couple times a week. Like I did experience it and I like am very familiar with the city of LA, but I never really fully lived in it. Okay, so then in 2015 my family decided that they wanted to move to Nashville and I spent my high school years here I got married here. I got pretty comfortable here in Tennessee, right? But then me and my husband went to LA like a month ago because he's a musician and he's in a band and we were recording some music there for his stuff and he was like, hey I think I need to live here for my band and I was like, hey I would like to live here for my YouTube and so it just kind of made sense Like you know how people say you can take the girl out of Texas, but you can't take the Texas out of the girl. That's how I feel about California. If any of you guys were looking for like a sign to just take a risk, this is your sign, okay? This is your sign to move. This is your sign to quit your job. This is your sign to get into a new relationship or don't. Whatever it is that you've been wanting to do that you're scared to do, do it because you could be dead tomorrow and then you'll be dead and be like, oh, I didn't do what I wanted to do when I wasn't dead. Now that we've gotten my little motivational speech out of the way, I just realized I haven't really had a real meal today. All I've eaten today is Gardetto's and a yogurt parfait. It's literally 4.30. Like I thought it was noon. I'm kind of concerned at my lack of a sense of time, but whatever. <laughs> Packing is hard when you're sick and weak. <laughs> Guys, I was in Home Depot earlier buying boxes and this girl walked by me and she goes, you are so pretty. And I don't think I've felt that good about myself in like eight years. <laughs> um, I'm starting to feel really weird. <clears throat> and kind of like I live in a novel or something because all of my life is in this box right now. And I have never done this before. This whole moving experience is exciting, but it's terrifying at the same time because there's so many things that could go wrong. So I kind of feel like I am like free falling backwards into like nothingness. <laughs> and I don't know what's beneath me. I don't know what I'm falling towards. I don't know what's gonna happen and I don't know how it's gonna end. But I'm hoping and I'm praying that a year from now, I'll say that it was worth it. And I will say that I did what I came to do and that I survived. That is what I'm hoping. And I hope that you guys are gonna be with me the whole time. So I guess I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> uh, I can't believe this is happening.